How is Jake Paul the favorite over a former welterweight champion like Tyron Woodley? It's your boy, Scallywag Sam. When I first heard the fight was announced, I was hugely surprised. But partly not, because I saw Tyron confront Jake and his trainer in between rounds or before the fight. And remember, Tyron was in Ben Askren's camp and they trained together before, right? And then now Tyron's got this fight, which I'm happy for. He's got a big W in terms of making a lot of money and payday, and he recently got cut from the UFC, which sucks, but he's still making money, and he's still an analyst too on the ESPN or UFC portion. Now, with him fighting against Jake Paul, and remember, Jake Paul has a padded record. He fought a couple of guys like a YouTuber, then Nate Robinson, and now Ben Askren, who's not really known for throwing hands. Now he's facing a former welterweight champion of the UFC, who is known to knocking out guys. If you don't remember, he's beat up some bad guys and badly, like Jay Huron, the knockout of Josh Kozczak, how he knocked out Robbie Lawler for the championship belt. He's a beast, and I've known you see his record, his recent losses against top guys like Kamaru, like Kobe, like Gilbert, and recently Vince Luque. But it doesn't matter. He still has those hands. I know he's older. He's not as fast as he used to be, but... It's going to be a crazy fight, and Jake might be in for a beating. And what was smart is that this contract that they signed has a rematch clause, which means that even if he loses, Jake can retrain and, and maybe go back for another fight. I do applaud Jake for stepping up and trying to fight some worthy competition before he tries to go legitimately pro. But this competition is a quite a level up, and he needs to know what he's getting into. Again, Tyron's got a big W and a big win outside of the UFC and collecting that check, which is great. I'd love to see Tyron versus other people or other guys kind of crossing over. Does it ruin the legitimacy of combat sports? Yes, but as I mentioned before, it brings more entertainment, more eyes, and that's what sells fights. And people forget that you need to sell the fight for the fight to actually go on. And you need to draw those eyes, which is important. And Jake does it, and that's why he's running the fight game. And people forget that too. Let me know what you think. You think this is a fake fight. This is some BS, and are you putting bets on Tyron? Because you would. You should. You're going to make a lot of money. Let me know. As always, comment, like, subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy, Scallywag Sam.